How's it going people? Welcome back to my channel. Um, first and foremost, love for the support. The subscribers keep going up. Um, I know a lot of you have gone to my Instagram and followed me there and my Twitter. Love for all of that. Um, if you haven't already, Instagram Turkish LDN. That's my main social media platform. Um, I use Twitter here and there. I don't really like it. I explained in my last video why, but it is what it is. If you want to follow me on that, then Turkish LDN, same as. Uh, I thought I'd bring you guys a video today considering the news around Carrasco is heating up a little bit. He has confirmed he's in negotiations, but when I've looked into it, it didn't say with Arsenal. Um, the way I took it is he's, with, he's in negotiations with his club so they can let him go. Um, obviously, we're the most strongly linked with him, so it makes sense that it is going to be us if they do let him go, if they do um, allow for the sale. Am I happy? It is what it is. At the end of the day, it's the level of right? the Europa League club right now. It's been three years. Um, and Carrasco is maybe just a bit above a Europa League uh, level player. He, he couldn't do a job to help us get out of, get out of that um, European competition and potentially get into the Champions League. But in the big scheme of things, I, I'm not really impressed. I can't lie to you. Um, there is better talent out there, better younger talent out there especially. Um, so I'm not really too impressed. One thing about Carrasco is I liked him coming through. He came through at Monaco. Um, he helped them up to the to League One. Uh, he was sore just before their, their um, league title winning season, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. But he was sold and I, I was a fan of his. I was definitely a fan of his. He went on to is it Atletico Madrid next big club massive club champions league finalists two two out of the last what five years um shrewd spenders as well so they've got an eye for talent and if they pick that carrasco then it's because he's shown something but at the same time what i can't get my head around is him at the age of 24 turning 25 deciding to leave atletico madrid and go china that shows very little ambition to me as a footballer and at arsenal we need people that want to play football and show themselves on the football pitch not people looking to earn a quick buck in london like the way i look at his china move he went there for money obviously like everyone does and over the past year it probably hasn't worked out for his family or for him lifestyle wise and he wants to go is that a good enough reason um or is that a good reason for me to want him at the club no like at the end of the day that's not the mentality we need we need the mentality of players that are going to come in and push this club on that know where this club should be and forget the club for a sec that want to improve themselves at the end of the day we need players that want to build on what they've what they've started in their own careers that that will benefit us you bring a player with high drive ambition determination even if he's looking at us as a stepping stone club take him because it will improve us in the short term and when you improve in the short term your global image becomes better and then you could buy better players you could get in you get into the champions league with that quality whereas with Carrasco it's, it's very much a risky deal for me quality he's a good dribbler um productivity for me is not is not sufficient enough like what's he got in i, I can't even say the chinese team's name but in china he's got like 11 goals in 31 games not good enough not good enough in my opinion alex Owobi, who we've all slated at some points in the season and criticized um, looking back at the season he would get more goals than 11 in in china i'm pretty sure of it i know the club he plays for isn't isn't one of the best out there but 11 goals in that league is, is a poor return for a player of his quality or for a player that i thought was um better quality than that even when you look at Atletico, I think he's got about 15, 16 goals there. Not good enough in about 81 games. It's, it's not... It's, sorry to be a downer, guys, but I'm just going to give you like, my honest opinion on it. I can't, I can't... Until he signs for us. When he signs for us, I support him. Don't get me wrong. And any player we sign, I support them. But right now, I'm just giving you my honest opinion. On the and I'm not too impressed. I'm not going to lie to you. Especially considering, like, like I mentioned, on Saturday, Jeng is in there. Turkey beat France 2 new. Watch Cengiz in there. Watch my video last summer. He was one of the first, like one of the first players I mentioned that would improve our squad moving forward. Another year has gone by. He's improved at Roma. He's moving 
forward with the Turkish national team. Good young blood in there. And he's the star, he's the shining light in that team. Great left foot, great delivery. Solid right foot as well. If you go and watch his goal against France, that right footed finish is his weaker foot. None of our wingers can finish like that with their stronger foot. So you see, when I talk about a player like that, or if I talk about David Neres, or if I talk about um, Nicolas Pepe, which is probably unrealistic now considering we ain't got Champions League, although it depends on who else is in for him. If there isn't a Champions League team in for him right now, then why not go in for him and see what we can do? Get a sell on value in a few years. He uses us as a stepping stone. We improve as a club. Or he comes in, takes over, comes to Star Wars, and he wants to stay in. That's realistic. So, like, players like Cengiz and David Neres and um, Hakim Ziyech, like, you can make arguments for them. Strong arguments. But when it comes to Carrasco, I'm just underwhelmed. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm underwhelmed. I just feel like yeah, it's an easy option. I wasn't too keen in January, but although in January I didn't believe the rumours and up until he said the nego that negotiations are taking place, I didn't believe these rumours either. I thought it was lazy journalism, which it still might be. He might be talking to other clubs and that's who he might be talking about in terms of negotiations, but it is what it is. It looks like it's us. Um, I'm, I'm not upset about the signing, don't get me wrong, but I hope it's not a massive outlay on wages. I hope we don't go too far in, in in spending the budget on him because we need far better than him i'm not gonna lie to you i might even take ryan frazier ahead of him if i'm honest i might even take ryan frazier i'll definitely take david brooks i'm not saying brooks is better than him but brooks has a higher potential his ceiling is higher um he british british player welsh why not why not we've just lost lost the welshman who, who's shown his heart at the club who's shown his passion drive determination Brooks could be another one, whereas like when I analyse Carrasco and as I mentioned, like, the mentality of someone 24 years of age going to China from Atletico Madrid, it's, it's not the mentality I want at Arsenal Football Club. Out for the box. And that's what worries me about if we sign him. If we sign him, surely he's not going to take too wild of a pay cut. And if he went to China for money, they must be paying him decent. So, in my opinion, we sign Carrasco obviously he's going into his prime as every player does in, in their late 20s um, or mid to late 20s I wouldn't spend over it's hard to say I wouldn't spend over 80-90k a week on him and I know people are going to say what? But Mustafi's on 90 but Xhaka's on 90 yeah but listen I'd, t I'd tell Carrasco listen our way structure is fucked this is what we're going to offer you it's your get out of jail card from China since you want to move so badly and we're fixing the wage structure at the club at present. The 90k might seem low now in comparison to other players in the team but in a year or two you'll understand that the 90k is um, either a mid-level mid -level or high-low level wage for a player at Arsenal Football Club. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I'd offer him. Um, I, hope that, I haven't heard nothing about transfer fee either. I haven't heard nothing about transfer fee. To be honest, I should have checked how much they bought him for to know how much they'd expect back in a year. But again, like I said, I hope it's not too much. I hope it's not too much. But let me try to be positive. Um, like I said, he is a good dribbler. Yeah, very direct. Um, he has mentioned the Premier League. Uh, he said there's a lot of space to run into. Now, in my opinion, that's... Well, as an Arsenal fan, in my opinion, that's false. Maybe at Man City and at Liverpool, you've got a lot of space to run into because you've got quality all over the pitch. You've got um, players taking attention all over the pitch at Arsenal. Especially if you come and you become one of the main outlets for attack. Um, you won't have as much space as, as he thinks or as he said. But he seems confident. Um, I don't pay too much mind to that. You know, people say what they want to say to get a move. People say what they want to say to get money or get on the side of fans. All I care about, all I care about is on the pitch. The 90 minutes on the pitch every week. That's all I give a shit about. I don't care how much shirts you sell. I don't care what you do for your international team. I don't care if you won a World Cup. I don't care if you've played for Tom, Dick and Harry. It doesn't matter to me. On the pitch for Arsenal Football Club is where it matters. And, um, yeah, I kind of went into negative again. But, yeah, the, sorry, it's the positives. Yeah, good dribbler, direct. Um... He'll be, listen, he'll be a starter. He'll be a starter. If he's one of the wingers we get and we don't add any more, he'll definitely be a starter. I'd probably see 
him starting on one side and Reese Nelson eventually starting on the other, if that is the avenue we go for. But again, I just feel like there's better business to be done out there. I just feel like, I hope this is a smokescreen for something else. I'm quite disappointed that we're not being linked to many other players. Um, it's been a very slow start to the transfer window for many teams, but at Arsenal Football Club, we need so much changes. Like I'm disappointed no one's gone. The first and foremost, that is, that needs to happen first. A clear out, um, get some of this dead wood out, and then move forward as move forward as a team, as a club with structure, with a vision, with ambition, with drive. Sign players that fit that model. Sign like you have to, you have to just put a line to it somewhere. And I thought it was going to be this summer, but things are moving so slow that I just feel like how are we getting rid of Mickey Mustafi, um, Ozu or Jaka? I'm not going to say both. But how are we getting rid of like two, three of these players if we haven't done the business yet? Like we need the, the transfer funds to analyse properly because essentially, listen, let's say we got 70 mil to spend, yeah? We go and spend 40 here and 20 there. If we then go and make 30, 35, 40 mil off Mustafi and Mickey, yeah? We might go and buy another player for around that value. But if you waited a little bit, if you got the outgoings done early the 40 mil gets added to the 70 mil then you can potentially weigh up a bigger buy you can potentially weigh up bringing in a few more few more youth players into the squad um, obviously Willock, Emil Smith, Rowe, Reese Nelson, Saka why not bring them through um, and at the same time bring in someone bring in a massive name like a massive young name when you work like this when you're working with the funds you have before moving other players on and and before essentially essentially realizing the options that you have available in the squad like you get rid of Mustafi you get rid of Mickey then you know a bit more what you what you're going to be spending your money on you bring you bring through the younger players you give them a season make or break for some of them when they're 19 20 or 2021 20, let me not be too harsh but why not do that man but you guys let me know what you think in the comments below um are you going to be happy with a Carrasco signing? Is he someone you want? Um, would you prefer Jenga's in there? Would you prefer uh, David Neres? Um, there's a few more out there as well. Ziyech. It just doesn't seem like them names are happening for us. It just seems like an Arsenal transfer window again. Well, what can we expect with Europa League? Yeah, so let me know in the comments below what you lot think, man. Because um, it seems like it's going to be another long transfer window.